Uh, oh, hold on for a second. Couldn't. Hello? Hello. I'm sorry? Hello? Hello. Samuel. Oh. Ka- Samuel, it's Kathy. Ka- oh, oh my gosh. It's, um... It's Senator Kathy. Well, not so much Senator, but uh, nearly Senator uh, Catherine Harris. Not really even nearly. Uh, hello. It's, it's been hello, so long. Samuel. It's been so long, I barely recognized your voice. Yes, it has been a long time. So much has happened. So much. Has... I'm in your city. I'm in You're... New York City, the big apricot. You... The big I'm... apricot? Yes, isn't that what they call it? Apple. I think it's the big apple. Big apricot. About. Yes, I just got here. Marcus has been here, though. He 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 insisted on being here by June 24th for some reason. He said Wait, Marcus there Bachman? was some parade. Mar- my BFF, she wanted to be here for some parade or other. But anyway. June 24th, that was the, wasn't that the pride? I think, was it austerity celebrations or no. something? I don't think so, but that's that's uh, so you're 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 in the city with, with your BFF Marcus. With Bachman. Marcus, he also wanted to see a live taping of WTF with Mark Marin. Have you ever heard of that? I I have actually. Mark yes, Marin WTF. Yeah. I hear it's all the rage. Well, I don't anyway, know. Sam, the Affordable Care Act. Yes. Job killer. Job killer. Look, Sharia law, we're just two, two sects. We also look, look what's happened already. Poor Jamie Diamond lost so much. Nine billion already. Thanks, Obama. What, wait a second. Are you saying that, uh, that, 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 that Chase lost nine billion? J.P. Morgan? Di- yes, J.P. Well, Morgan lost nine billion dollars because because of the affordable because of the activist judges listen sharia law is right around the corner which is it's like ringing the dinner bell for all the secret muslims listen so that's why i'm in in new york and i met up with marcus and listen to me we have been meeting with the gatestone institute you know that think tank no they are, they are all about stopping Sharia law and activist judges. Wait a second. I'm sorry. You're going to have to explain this to me. How does the Affordable Care Act impose Sharia law and then cause J.P. Morgan Chase to lose $9 billion? Because it's about government. You know, this started way back with that Ralph Nader and the seatbelts. Hmm? Unbelievable, the activist Ralph Nader in the seatbelt. All he's doing is putting the federal government between you and your windshield. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. Is I mean, You're dude, breaking up, Sam. I can't hear you. you can, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now listen to me. So we're meeting with Nina Rosenwald. Do you know her? The no. heiress to the Sears Roebuck fortune. I know. And she spends millions of dollars through the William Rosenwald Family Fund to stop the invading menace of Sharia law and 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 activist judge. You should know her. Her father founded the Jewish Appeal, the United Jewish Appeal, I Samuel. Had, I had no idea. I had no idea. She that sits it. on the board of APAC. No, I, I, I'm and she not. She knows we must strike the Islamic Republic of Iran. Sam Brownback knows this. Michelle Mabel Bachman knows this. Sam, listen, I'd like to, to quote Theodore Herzl, if I may. Uh, sure. I didn't. I had no idea. The Zionist forefather. I don't know why I have to educate you. You better get down to a yeshiva. <laughs> You're a terrible Jew. I I appreciate that. That's very sweet of you. Well, go ahead and uh, Theodore Herzl. Now I'm paraphrasing here. Assimilation of the Jews in Europe is impossible. Now, he was talking about the Dreyfus Affair, but we can apply that today. The Jewish state must have an entrance strategy for Jesus. Praise him, Breitbart, white power. (laughs) Wait a second. The Jewish state must have an entrance strategy for Jesus? Yes, praise him, Breitbart, white power. (laughs) Listen, also, you know how much I love Moshe Diane. I, I do. Yes. You know he won the Oscar for the King and I. <laughs> but we are guy. having free screenings of Westworld. He was wonderful in that with Richard Benjamin. <laughs> Westworld, do you remember that? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm almost sure that you're thinking of Yul Brenner. Westworld. 
world. So hey, we're showing it because it's a wonderful metaphor for the threat of the barbarians. In that case, it was robots, but in this case, it's secret Muslims and Islamists and activist judges and the threat on Western civilization. Well, let me get more- Michael Crichton knew this. Moshe Dayan knew this. Let me wait a second. Let me just stop you and ask you specifically, what did you think about John Roberts' ruling? Uh, were you surprised by that? Were you I'm very surprised. You know, he has always had a long history of business friendly jurisprudence. So I don't know, maybe it was something he ate or I don't know, but you know, he is he quite rightly understands what the founders wanted. They wanted the corporation as a person to be thought of first, boardroom first. That's the John Roberts Court. I know and love business-friendly jurisprudence. It's the bedrock of our electoral process. (laughs) From 1886, the Santa Clara County versus Southern Pacific Railroad to today. I, I had no idea the depth of, of, of your uh, awareness of, of these court rulings. I, I, I had no idea about the lack of depth of yours. You're what? terrible, Jim. <laughs> what, what has that got to do with my Jewishness? What, what has it not got to do with it? You know we need an entrance strategy. You know, it's still, it's still ter- I still get so angry I could spit when I think about the, how they treated poor Moisha Diane. And in, in 1973, he was blamed for, for being unprepared in the October War. Makes me so mad. And he resigned, but then, you know, he wouldn't have shot Westworld. So it worked out. I, uh, I, 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 uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure how to—I'm I'm almost convinced it's Yul Brenner you're thinking of, but that's, not, that's, not, that's neither here nor there. Who? What? Who? Yul Brenner. I don't know who that is, <laughs> but I love Moshe Dye, and he's wonderful. The Six-Day War, oh, my goodness. You know, he even fought in World War II. Yeah. For the British, who are sort of like us, like Canadians, they're similar to us. They're, they, in their whiteness and their anglo saxonness bright part, praise him, white power. Uh, S- Catherine Harris. You know what else is going on, Sam? I don't want to let you talk. Listen to me. There is also, we're going to go to Kentucky after this for the celebrations at the Creation Museum in Petersburg. Wait, I wasn't aware that there were celebrations at the Creationist Museum. It's the fifth anniversary of the Creation Museum in Petersburg. I didn't They're going to have, you know what they've installed? A holographic exhibit of Lucy, the famous proto-human fossil. And they're going to show how, they're going to prove how she's just really a few thousand year old ape. <laughs> Joseph the plumber's going to be there. Joseph the plumber's going to be there, and and, and, uh, yeah. and part of his, his, I guess, his camp. You're breaking up again. I can I can hear you uh, fine. Uh, They're also going to have a Clarence Darrow uh, throw a beanbag at Clarence Darrow at the at the museum because he was so mean to Williams Channing Bryant. He was a fool. Also, there's a Mitch McConnell look-alike contest, and you can whack him in the face with a board for a dollar. We're going to raise money <laughs> for the group Answers in Genesis. They run the creation. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fully aware of Answers in Genesis. Uh, They're going to build a full-size replica of Noah's Ark. we got to raise money for the new Ark Encounter. <laughs> well, one of the things that I wanted to ask you about was what's going on in Florida. Rick Scott uh, is, is, seems to be hell-bent. He talking to kings and queens. I think you're thinking of Oh, that's Scott, Scott Walker. Brown. I'm sorry. I just heard Scott. You're breaking up. You said you said Rick Scott. Rick Scott. Yes, the governor in Florida. Yeah. I mean, Florida. you were of course the, by power. the Secretary of State in Florida during the 2000 election. It has really been your claim to fame. You brought us George Bush in many respects. Yes, I have helped carry out the Father God's will, right, Bart? And uh, Rick Scott has been uh, desperately trying to throw about 180,000 people off the voter rolls. And Absolutely. It's called voter fraud, Sam. It's called voter fraud. Well, I mean, it, it, it's already been shown the, that 
you know, a, a nearly half at least of those people on those rolls are eligible to vote. And you've got 67 uh, heads of, of counties there who are refusing to uh, follow the the orders of of Rick Scott. I mean, I, I I'm curious. Activist activism. That's the thing. Look, it's all falling apart. Poor Jamie Diamond. Listen, poor Rupert Murdoch. You see what happened because of that Affordable Care Act, Rupert Murdoch. Well, how did the Affordable Care Act hurt Rupert Murdoch? Rupert Murdoch has just been. He got in trouble in Britain. No, I'm aware of that story. Prime he, Minister David Cameron turned his back on him. But how does that have Thanks to, to activist Judge Brian Levison, uh, he, he said that Rupert Murdoch was up to no good. Listen, I'll tell you something. Wendy Dang is angry, and she will cut you. <laughs> she, we've talked about this before. She's got Japanese steel. She has a hairy hands, so sword. Wait. Wendy Dang in the Crazy 88. You know, she used to be in the Deadly Viper Squad, Sam, codenamed Cottonmouth. <laughs> I, I was not aware of any of this. I, she I, will cut you, Wendy Dang. Now, wait a, wait a second. Now, so you're saying the Levinson Inquiry is, you're saying that's a function of activist judges, but I don't understand how that has to do with the Affordable Care Act. Because this is what activists judge it. This is what happens, Sam, that we have to sit at the table with black people. We have to wear seat belts. We have to pick up after ourselves with the environment. Well, sort of, don't have to really. But I just, this is the kind of nonsense that, that made a hero out of Rosa Parks. This is not what the fuck. You know what God's plan is, Sam? No. As it ever was to elevate the rich and well-born to legislative influence. God's plan. What do you wait. think the three-fifths clause was all about? Wait a second. You're saying the that... The slave owner, wealthy, one man and, and, and extra, one vote. You're saying that the, the God's plan is to... Is to basically elevate have... the rich and the well-born to legislative influence. <laughs> you say, wait, wait, Samuel, come on now. What do you think Joseph is shooting produce all about? It's a fulfillment of God's will. Praise him, Breitbart, Isa, White Power. Now wait a second. You're saying that I did you say Isa? What? You're saying that Joe the plumber shot vegetables. Produce. To show you what happens when we defy the founders who were imbued by the Father God. Don't you remember? You're from Massachusetts, right? Isn't that where, is that where Shays, Daniel Shays, activist farmer Daniel Shays. Yeah, actually, Shays' Rebellion happened in Worcester. Currency. That's right. Actually, he marched on Worcester. That, yeah, Worcester. Yeah, Worcester. Yeah, it was, it was Worcester. Yeah, that's where you're from. Don't think I don't know that. Well, I'm don't not. Think I don't know about what goes on in Worcester. Started with activist farmer Daniel Shays, and then now you keep. I get so mad, Sam. I'm still so angry about Moisha Diane. <laughs> what? What are you mad but it, about? But it's free screening for Westworld. That's no, gonna, all right. Uh, wait a second. I, let me. So let me get, get your take. I don't think I've talked to you since the um, the, the primary had been mostly decided. Uh, Mitt Romney is the Republican nominee. Your thoughts? Well, Mitt Romney, you know, as a Mormon, I think what's great about him is many, many Mormons also believe that the earth is only a few thousand years old. So that's the good news. Also, Mitt Romney declared that Park 51 in New York City, your city, the building of Park 51, remember the Interfaith Community Center and Mosque that was planned to yes. be built? A few blocks from Ground Zero, it's a blasphemy. Mitt Romney declared that Park 51 has the potential for extremists to use the mosque for global recruiting and propaganda. So you, so Mitt Romney's right on on time with that one. Why haven't uh, the right? Why haven't they continued to protest that? Oh, it's well. Don't worry, Marcus is down there all the time. He's there with Michelle Mappel's going to join him. But as I said, Marcus insisted on being here for some reason on the 24th. Um, I think he also, besides wanting to see Mark Maron, have you heard of Mark Maron's podcast? I WTF? have, yeah, yeah. I hear I it's wonderful. Well, I, I, haven't, I haven't heard it. I hear it's wonderful. He also wanted to see a live taping of What Not to Wear. Of What Not to Wear? Yeah, it's, a, it's a show he likes. It's about makeovers and so forth. She's wonderful. Yes. Well, um, 
So, uh, well, uh, uh, Senator Harris, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your, your calling in and sharing with us uh, today your thoughts on this Affordable Care Act. And, you know, of course, uh, Rick Scott. It's Scho- a job killer. It's a, job, it's a Ponzi scheme like the low flow toilet and the seat belt. It's just a job killer. How is the it's- low flow toilet a job killer? I, we've talked about this before, Sam. I don't want to get into it again. Uh, do you, don't make me quote Theodore Herzl, Zionist forefather, again. Uh, Theodore don't Her- make me school you in what you're already supposed to know. You're a terrible Jew. It's a job killer. You're a job killer. I'm, I, wait a second. The, the low-flow toilet? Herzl spoke about low-flow toilets? The light bulb, the seat belt, all job killers. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Well, all Thanks right. Thanks a lot, Obama. Well, uh, there you have it. Uh, Senator Kathy Harris, I, I, again, I appreciate your calling in. You should, don't why, forget don't free be such screenings a... of Westworld, and then also don't forget the Kentucky Museum creation. We're raising money for the, for the Noah's Ark encounter, and uh, if you go down there, you can punch Mitch McConnell lookalikes in the face for a dollar to raise money. <laughs> well... Uh, well, thank you. Please don't be uh, so much of a stranger. Uh, we, we missed you around. Oh, no, I'd lo- I would love to. You know, anytime I can come, you know, talk to you on the phone, it's always a pleasure for me because you don't seem to know anything about anything. You always seem stunned. You always seem like it's the first time every time we talk. <laughs> It's well. Some of the things that you say, I you know, I guess maybe it's the way you say them that uh, sort of surprised me. No, I, th- I don't. Don't play. Don't 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 do that. Don't don't. I'm rubber. You're gloomy, Samuel. I'm that's rubber. Just, you're that, gl- that's the height of immaturity. That's what an unclever, uh, non well well yeshiva Jew does. That's what a non yeshiva Jew does. I get Nina Rosenwald down there. She'll tell you what for. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't, I don't want to end this on a, on a, on a bad note. I want, to, I, I want to be cordial about this. No, no. Pre- <clears throat> oh, my God, I just swallowed saliva down the wrong pipe. Have you ever done that? <laughs> I, I have, of course, sure. Oh, my God, that's so funny when that happens. Oh, also, Sam, you'll, you went to law school for about a minute and a half, right? That's right. Until the meter ran out, and then you had to move your car. You decided just not to go to law school anymore. Richard Thompson, the former Michigan prosecutor, he's the president of the Thomas More Law Center. Mm-hmm. Well, they, they, defi- they are confronting the threat of Islam and Sharia law. They're working with Sam Brownback and Michelle Mabel and Herman Cain, Daryl Issa, Joseph the Plumber, all these people, Nina Rosenwald. Well, you uh, you got to keep us updated on the Sharia law thing because I, I, you know, I don't. Nequab. You got to be wearing it. Your wife will be wearing a Nequab before you know what happened. I'm sorry, she'll be wearing what? A Nequab. The so, thing that covers your face, oh. except your eyes. You'd probably like that, wouldn't you? You'd probably see your wife as chattel. No, Brazen. I don't. White power. Bright Bart Isa. Okay. Well, uh, uh, Senator Catherine Harris, again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Sam. And don't forget, try that Mark Mayer, and I hear you uh, yeah, wonderful. No, I will. I'll, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. That's okay, great. thank you. That's great. All bye. Right, bye. Bye. <laughs>